Downhouse School is, I suppose, a traditional boarding school, but is a forward-thinking boarding school and, and grounds itself in, in trying to be innovative in the way that it develops its educational programme. We have something called the Downhouse DNA, which is a list of key characteristics which we feel really makes a Downhouse girl. So those are things like compassion, creativity, aspiration, being outward looking, developing resilience. And we really use those to kind of underpin our teaching in the drama department. The reason that we, we um, opted to go for the Arts Award was because we felt that the qualification actually, it allowed the girls a safe space in which to really develop their resilience. And actually a lot about resilience is about being able to fail and then actually work out what the best route is once you've figured out that that route doesn't work. And I think the Arts Award allows you to do that in a safe space where actually it doesn't impact on your GCSE result and it prepares you and lets you build that resilience for later on when, when it really matters. At the beginning of term I was thinking, do I want to do drama for GCSEs? Am I that good? Because I constantly doubt myself. But then now from the support you get and all of the work that you do on certain things it really helps you sort of explore different aspects which helps. Arts Award gives students much more structure than that and it forces stretch and challenge actually because it kind of, you have to think about those analysis skills, you have to think about those evaluation skills for Arts Award, um, you have to be able to apply subject specific vocabulary, all of which prepares them incredibly well for GCSE drama. The way that it's evidenced allows the girls to be able to establish the skills that they need for GCSE and A-level, but in an environment that's not pressured. And it also allows girls to be really creative. So if you have students that aren't keen on writing essays, then actually that Arts Award evidence file is, is just pure gold in terms of allowing them to be able to express themselves in a creative way without having to write thousands and thousands of words. So I've learnt how to work together as a team, taking more a head role and having to lead a team but also working collaboratively with others and hearing other people's opinions. We have almost four days of Trinity exams in March and then another two days of Trinity exams in the summer term so that just shows how many girls we actually put through the exams. The Trinity exams allow them to achieve excellence within the performance and I think also actually the devising element of the um, lower grades in speech and drama really help with that kind of collaboration that's really required for Arts Award and that working together and that sharing of skills and, and sharing of knowledge. Um, they already have done that as part of their, of their uh, qualifications for speech and drama and so the, the two kind of work hand in hand really. It is a really valuable qualification for all girls regardless of whether they want to become a performer or whether they want to actually be a physicist. Um, I think the skills that they pick up from the Arts Award are so transferable and, and actually in terms of their learning, actually the way that they learn and the evidencing and the independent learning and the independent thought that that requires, it's, I think it's a really valuable qualification. I quite like the idea of being a lawyer or maybe like a barrister, so for public speaking it's definitely given me more confidence in that area. Over time my confidence has increased and now I'm able to work in a group more freely. I feel like it has helped me a lot because it has developed my analytical skills. It's that balance of structure and freedom for me that makes Arts Award special for, for us here. So Arts Award is definitely one of the best choices that we've made in the drama department and I actually think in, this, in the wider school community.